Throughout the construction of the Kapiti Expressway, traffic management has played a vital part in minimising disruption for motorists. So that's the traffic coming in, that's the last think, two days going into Wellington. Okay, that bit's actually quite free-flowing. New innovative technology utilises real-time information to help manage the daily commute. So for the Mackay's project, we're using the BlipTrack technology. It's a really new technology. It's a way of identifying vehicles as they move through the project. We've got roadside sensors, and really we're looking at how long those vehicles take to go between A to B to C to D. So whenever a car goes past, we quite easily can pick up the radio signals coming out of the car, whether that's Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. So we know which direction it's going, because we've got an antenna pointing in each direction and we can work out how long it took for that car to go past this one sensor. We've got sensors all the way down the road, so we can work out how long that journey was taking between all those different sensors. So we get some really good real-time intelligence about what the traffic's doing on the road at that particular point in time. We can see here at 8.25 a.m. this morning, it was taking approximately two minutes, 46 seconds. This is very normal. The, the traffic flow has built up from 5.30 this morning as people get up and go to work, so we're through the morning peak. All the data used is completely anonymous. So we don't know what car it is, we don't know what person it is, and we can never go back to that information. So I say it's all covered uh, really well by the, the Privacy Act, uh, but it gives us a really strong source of information, a really good information about where journeys are starting and finishing and where they're moving down different bits of the, the State Highway 1 through the Mackay's project. This real-time traffic information is also communicated directly back to motorists. Variable message signs that we see up and down the highway have estimated travel time to destinations like Wellington Airport or Wellington City, and those times are uploaded through the Wellington Traffic Operations Centre. They monitor the blip, they upload the times, and you can plan your travel around that. And this up-to-date, smart traffic information is about to get a free public app called Cavity Drive Live. You'll be able to see exactly what the current live travel time is on Cavity Road or up and down State Highway 1 through this area. And in the heart of Cavity, traffic management keeps the busy local traffic moving. It's a high volume road. You know, we have up to 26,000 vehicles a day travel up and down here. It's actually busier than State Highway 1 in this area. So we know from using the blip track technology when the busy peaks are, we can use that technology also to see actually how long are the delays that we are causing. So it may be that we push back works to perhaps 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock because there's a lot of traffic still. Or if it's a quiet day, we might be able to start them earlier. If we start them earlier, it means we can finish them earlier, so there's less risk of impacting or defecting people the following morning. It also is a slightly safer operation for us to work earlier in the evening than later in the evening. So there's a lot of safety um, benefits as well by having really good intelligence. Traffic management is all about keeping the community moving in a very safe manner past our work sites. It gives safety for the motorist, the pedestrian, the cyclist, as well as our work crews, whilst we cause minimal delays. So please observe the speed limit signs we might have in place take care through our work sites and keep everybody safe.